Okay, today I'm going to talk about how to uh, do all the various steps to export a furniture item into the InView catalog. I'm starting with this really snazzy sort of craftsman sofa, and I have already imported and merged a, a seated avatar, and I've made sure that my 3D model is uh, the right scale so that uh, my avatar looks good sitting in it. Let's see what we have here. Let's see, we've got uh, an avatar, sort of a mannequin that we're using for scale, and we will not be exporting him, but we will be exporting the nodes that are a part of the information that InView needs to, to know where an avatar can sit, and that consists of this little teeny node right here, and that is called the, uh, the seat 2 uh, dot sitting node. Um, actually, it could be uh, seat dot one, but since I grabbed this from a pre existing model that had uh, the avatar already uh, named, that's what it's called. And then I've got the catcher and pitcher nodes. And then I have the mesh itself, which is the geometry of the chair that I'm going to export. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all this stuff. I'm just going to leave the, the sofa and to do that I'm going to right click it and hit uh, hide unselected. So now I just have the sofa and I'm going to create the root node and the root node is the sort of the base node, the, the sort of the, the highest piece in the hierarchy of all the various nodes and to do that I'm going to hit the top view so I can see it from the top. Then I'm going to go over to uh, the create tab and I'm going to choose the tape measurer, and I'm going to choose to create a dummy. And then just basically in the middle I'm going to, to open up a cube or a dummy node right roughly in the center, and then coming up here to the, the move tool I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to change the X, Y, and Z coordinates to ultimate zero, so that everything this, I know this node is going to live right in the middle of the world that I've created here. Let's take a look at it in in perspective view. So there we go. And the uh, the root node can be whatever size you like. It's just really nice to have it in the center. And uh, now we'll start to connect uh, the avatar nodes to that node. It's important to note that uh, when you're in InView and you use the uh, Furniture Move tool, you'll get a little handle or a little icon that you can click on that allows you to pick up furniture and move it around and rotate it. Well, that little icon will appear basically where this root node is. So it's really helpful for it to be near the center or near the sort of axis of a piece of furniture so that it's easy to find how to grab it and how to move it. Next, we're going to uh, connect or link uh, the other nodes to this root node. So I'm going to unhide all. So there's our guy there and I'm going to hide my sofa. Hide the sofa. And at the moment if I look in the hierarchy I have the catcher node, I have this dummy node, I have the pitcher, and I have the seat node. And at the moment the, my little sitting guy, my little mannequin, he's already linked to the seat node. You can tell that because his name is indented a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is I want to make sure that I name my root node appropriately. At the moment, it, by default, it's called dummy01. I'm going to change the name to root. And next, I'm going to link these three other nodes to this root node. And how I do that is I select the three nodes, and then I go to this tool up here, this button. It's the linking tool. I click it. I grab one of the nodes that are chosen and I grab and I drag these dotted lines to the root node and I let go. I select the select tool again and then if I look in my hierarchy now underneath my root node I have my catcher node, my pitcher node, and my seat node. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do with the nodes before I get ready to export, and that is when you're in InView and you see a piece of furniture and you put your mouse over that furniture, it'll show you the various places that you can sit. Um, there's a little icon that appears where uh, you can click on and your avatar will sit there. Well, that icon 
always appears where the seat note is located and that's this little one right down here so if I have my sofa here and I want someone to sit on the seat it really would be handy if that icon would show up roughly where they would sit as opposed to in on the ground below the sofa so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm going to copy and make a new node that's going to sit roughly around where the avatar's lap is. I click OK and I'm going to rename it since this is seat 02. I'm going to name this handle 02. And if I look in the hierarchy, because it's already linked, I, you will notice that underneath the root that that handle 2 is right there with those other already linked items all linked to the root node. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm going to unhide the, the sofa. And so I've got my avatar and I've got him sitting in the sofa, but the sofa is big enough to actually have two avatars. I could import another avatar, but that would be silly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the seat node. I'm going to select my avatar guy. I'm going to select the catcher in the pitcher. And boy, I can't see that inside node. Let me grab that too. Let me grab the, oops, seat note. Actually, you know what's easier? I'm going to grab everything, and then I'm going to, oops, I'm going to deselect the sofa. There we go. Oops, I'm going to deselect this as well. Okay, so I've selected everything but the root node and the sofa, and holding the shift key, I'm just going to copy everything over, and now I've got two avatars sitting in the seats. Um, Unfortunately, though, I can't leave it just as that. I have to change the names of the nodes because the nodes have to correspond uh, with the other nodes in a group. So at the moment, if this is the picture 2 node, this is now the picture 2 dot standing dot 1. I need to change this to a different number. And since we already have a picture 2, I'm going to change this to uh, picture 1. And I'm going to change this catcher to catcher one and I'm going to change the handle to handle one and let me find that seat node. I'm going to change the seat node to seat one and because those original nodes were already linked to the root node if I go up here to the list you'll see they're all still linked all in the hierarchy that I've established for those original uh, catcher, pitcher, handle, and seat nodes, and you'll see up here there is the name of my mesh as well, which is not linked to the root at all. That later is going to be weighted to the root, and I can show you how that's done, but it's important to know that all of the nodes are linked to the root, but the mesh is weighted to the root. Okay, so now that we have all of our nodes in place, it's time to export the node. So the main node, the root node. So I'm going to select the root node and then I'm going to go up to my file menu and I'm going to choose export and I've got to find a nice place to export it to. I'll just ex export it to the desktop for now and I'm going to export the the uh, skeleton file or where is it? It's called the .xsf file and I'm going to call this sofa.xsf. It's very important to manually type in the suffix. So I've typed in sofa.xsf. I click save and then it's going to show me a list of all the things that are connected to the root. And there's two things that I want to make sure are not being exported and that's those two avatar placeholders because I don't want that hidden geometry to be counted when it comes to uh, my product displaying inside of InView. So I'm going to deselect both uh, the first sitting guy and the second sitting guy but everything else is checked. All my other nodes I click finish and I'm done. I've just um, exported my XSF or my skeleton file. Okay, now that we've exported the uh, skeleton file, now it's time to export our mesh. But before we do that, we have to make sure that the mesh is uh, weighted or skinned to that original root node. So how we do that is we go up to the Modify tab and we choose Skin. And then we have to tell 
the mesh what it's skinning to. And so we click the Add button, and we're going to choose that root node. So I select the root node. And so now I'm going to click um, Edit Envelopes. I'm going to choose uh, Vertices and deselect both, both cross-section and envelopes. And now I'm going to drag a box over the whole mesh so I make sure I don't miss any of the geometry. So all the geometry is chosen. I'm going to scroll down here to the weight properties. I'm going to select rigid. I'm going to deselect normalize. I'm going to make sure that uh, the, the ABS effect is set to 1.0 which is 100 percent. And I go right on back to to edit envelopes, I turn that off, and now my uh, my geometry has been weighted or skinned to that root node, and it's time for me to export it. So I go up to File, Export, and now I'm going to be exporting an XMF file, which is right here, and I'm going to call that sofa.xmf, and I'm going to click Save, and it's going to ask me uh, what XS F file am I linking to? Um, what is the skeleton file that this will be attributed to? And this is why we made sure to export the XSF file first. Um, if I had not, I would need to go search for where in my directory I was storing a pre-made XSF file, and you do that a lot when you're making avatar animations. Um, but in this case, I've already exported it, and it's already by default. It's put in its list that XSF file that I exported most recently. I click Next, a couple more Nexts, and there we go. My sofa geometry is all exported, and now I'm ready to go into the editor and import the, the sofa with all its nodes uh, and make a product. So by now you're probably thinking to yourself, boy that was a whole lot of steps and it's really easy to miss one of those steps and I have to agree with you that uh, it can be kind of technical especially when you start getting into rooms or you get into furniture items that include lots and lots of other pieces or specialized animations but uh, once you've done this a couple thousand times you'll get really good at it and it will become second nature, I promise.